Fucking butts, 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 butts. It's butts, and that's a perfect fucking way to start the stream, by the way. <laughs> you is, like big butts and you cannot lie? Uh, you see, that's why I surround myself by those of larger posteriors, because then I cannot lie. Nor I'm not sure whether to say that. awesome that I'm keeping you honest or to, like, <laughs> scream at you, because you basically just said I had a large ass. <laughs> oh, Mark has a large ass, too, so it's not like... <laughs> I have a very shapely posterior myself, so at least I've been told that. So compliments. Yeah, compliments, exactly, exactly. Girlfriends are nice for that every now and then. <laughs> hey, sweetie, you got a nice <laughs> butt. <laughs> you like it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how it. Uh, that's how it goes. <laughs> all right well thank you crayon for hosting us for yet another two viewers welcome everybody who is now just now turning into the stream uh this is episode number two of ashes to ashes the dark fantasy campaign for 5e that we have running um as i said in my twitch it's uh, my twitter that nobody's died yet but it doesn't necessarily mean it's not going to happen uh, and last we left our heroes, I believe everybody was camping in the abandoned inn of Kyral. Uh, and had just had a nice, nice meal. I'm assuming that you all took a sleep. Way to be presumptuous. <laughs> That's why I left it open at the end there for yes, no answers. I'm gonna go with yes. Might as well recover all that long rest up. <laughs> all that long rest stuff that you used. Yep. Okay, well, um, you guys wake in the morn. Um, it is oddly peaceful for what had just occurred, the, or at least what you have witnessed. Um, the work crew seem to have gone through all night, um, but there's not a lot of pickaxes or banging or anything like that. It's mostly just people hauling around, quite literally just hauling buckets and setting fires. Um, but none of them seem exhausted. Um, whatever Drac is doing is keeping them fresh. Um, he's treating them pretty well. At least it's what it seems like. Um, but there are a set of four fresh horses for you guys, um, waiting for you by the time that you wake up, and ready to go from there. Cough. So I'm going to wake up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was, I was going and, to say... Uh... I don't I'm know, the oldest, right? I believe so, Malcolm. I'm then I think it. I think it only makes sense that by the time everybody else wakes up, I'm already sitting downstairs, reading the uh, whatever the Lorness or Stromness equivalent of the paper is. <laughs> waiting for the waiting for all these youngins to wake up. Uh, you would so most it's like likely like six years. You would most likely have some sort of a pamphlet. Uh, like those that Thomas Paine used to produce in Voltaire. Um, nice. If only because, you know, it's a sh it's not quite a novel, it's not quite, you know, a paper or an essay, but the print the, the printed word is not super cheap yet. Like, they haven't okay. come up with a printing press, so pamphlets are probably what you carry one or two around, if, if you were to, uh, just tucked in your bag. Does the pamphlet have, like, a page five? Does the pamphlet have a page five? Probably not. <laughs> Thank you. Someone understood my joke. I was gonna say Thanks, I'm, I'm assuming this is a uh, this is a <laughs> reference I'm not getting. Yeah, I'm, I totally went over my head. If uh, in like the UK, I think it's the Sun. Page five has sexy ladies. Yeah, they have models. Oh, okay. Yeah, I remember that from when I lived over there. It just completely went over the sexy girl on page four. I think they called it. <laughs> okay, God, well, I haven't thought I about that in forever. Joke and I understand it fails, so you don't have to rub it. <laughs> uh, no, it will. It will continue to be rubbed in like a nice season on a steak. I will let that marinate oh, for a Jesus while. Jesus Christ! <laughs> so, you guys, how how are you? What are you doing? What how are you going about things? What's going on? Talk to me. Uh, well, I'm gonna blearily get up. And probably check all my equipment, check all my gear, take down all my traps because I left my door open with all those traps set up. 
I did some uh, math meditation. Sorry. Okay. Sam math would probably <laughs> Sam would probably wake up, stretch, then head downstairs and start making breakfast. Yeah, I I'd probably pack up my stuff and like go downstairs too. Okay. Well, you do have a, a little access to some fresh, uh, some fresh vegetables and um, eggs that were brought in recently. So omelets. <clears throat> yeah, sounds like it. Nice. Okay. I I'm going to verify that uh, the horses are ready for travel. I'm I'm sure somebody told me that they are, but I don't care. I'm still going to go out and verify it myself because you know, I'm I'm sure they're doing the best they can. <laughs> but, I mean, you know how Some, it is. Sometimes little things get overlooked. Yeah, exactly. And okay. I'd rather have control over that. Um, I'm you going see... to be stretching. Okay. Um, Malcolm, you see uh, two or three stable boys, you know, kind of kind of milling around. Um, they're still bl pretty bleary-eyed from waking up, but they, you can tell that they're farmhands. Like, they've been raised around animals and... It kind of looks like they know what they're doing, but I mean, it's not going to stop you from doing it anyway. But No, no, not at all. Um, I'm just going to... I'm going to be a little bit more polite about it. So almost like I'm going to try to like kind of seem like I'm admiring the job they did, but in reality <laughs> I'm looking for things they fucked up. Can you make me a bluff check? Yes, I can. <laughs> What's a bluff check? That'd be deception. Uh, deception, deception. Yeah. thank you. Yep. Mm -hmm. Thank you. There, there are interpreters here for available. I'll for tell you guys. Here. I'll tell you guys a little secret about Malcolm. He's not a deceitful guy. <laughs> he has no deception. The <laughs> sixteen. Uh, so not bad. He's pretty deceitful to me. So yeah. how would you how would you go about it, sir? Um, it's very much a. He has his own mental checklist. He goes through. Um, I'm sure he knows more about writing than I do. <laughs> Um, but he has his own mental checklist of things he goes through. Little things that easily get missed, such as, uh, you know, a latch here or there that lets the saddle sit a little more firm instead of shaking. And and what he does is he kind of comes out and he smiles to the stable boys and says, Good morning, like, thank you for, you know, thank you're, you're well, we're not anywhere near Stromness right now, but are we? No, you're, you're okay. still in cryo. All right, then uh, Stromness and the Lord General, you know, thank you for your assistance in all of this. And and as he does so, he's going to kind of like make small talk as he's looking over, say, "Yo, you guys, you guys seem like you've been doing this for quite a while." But in reality, like I said, he's looking for shit he they fucked up. Okay. Well, with uh, with your lavish praise, uh, you can see all three boys swell up with pride. Um, their their chests thrust out a little bit, their shoulders pulled back just just a hair to have somebody who is very obviously knowledgeable about what he's doing compliment their their deeds. Um, and it's deadly obvious that they missed a few things. Nothing critical, nothing like it's gonna you're gonna fall out of the saddle, but you're, you're exactly right. Things that could be tightened here or there, you know, small tricks that you've learned from from riding for so long um, that they just wouldn't have known. Um, and and they wouldn't like I know they wouldn't have known it. It's like one of those things that it's like, yeah, these guys are young. They wouldn't have caught this. Right. So you managed you manage to... Go ahead. I was going to say, if that's the case, I'd like to be like, oh, well, you know. And I'll start... I'll turn from, like, praising them and turn it into how praising, you know, how hard work and dedication pays off. And, like, I can tell that they're... Unlike unlike some of the some of the uh, the youth back in Stromness, they have a strong work ethic. And I'll basically use this as a chance to kind of offer my own knowledge about getting horses ready for travel and kind of teach them a few things here oh, yeah. there. They they they're eating out of the palm of your hand at this point. You you flattered them and you know you've impressed them with your, you know, uh, with the fact that you know the Lord General personally, or at least it seems like it. Um, and they are they're eating out of the palm. I mean, they're they're all three of them are like right next to where your hands are working, peering as you're you're trying to adjust things and it's it's a nice little moment. Like it's not often that people react to you um without pulling back you know yeah um they it, it, either they haven't noticed or they don't care um and you know either of which is okay with you and, and i let them know you know if you're ever in stromness and you're looking for you know a nice job like good good work for fair pay definitely look me at like look, look up my uh look me up and 
you know, we'll see what we can do. Nick's and nice that normal thing. Oh, yeah. You're, you're not sure if they paid attention to that part, but you get nope. into it anyway. <laughs> That's right. They're kids. They don't. They don't. They're not really thinking about that yet. <laughs> you gotta. You gotta give them the. You gotta give them the path and let them walk it if they want. Exactly. Uh, so let's go with Matt. Matt, what you cooking up, dude? Uh, I'm making omelets still and offering to whoever comes down to the kitchen. And if no one comes out of the kitchen, then I'm eating them. Okay. That sounds good Whoa. to me. <laughs> Alright, well, the, um, the, the attendant that's down there, the morning attendant, he's a portly fellow. Um, looks like he's been, you know, either around a kitchen or a tavern or a bar most of his life. <laughs> certainly um, food, at least. Yeah, certainly, <laughs> at this point. He is definitely no stranger to it. Um, he doesn't say a lot as you come in and basically kind of take over the kitchen. Because um, he recognizes you from uh, having communed with Lord, the Lord General himself and he, uh, he kind of watches as, as you're putting stuff together. And you notice that he's he's not exactly hovering like one who thinks you're going to mess it up, but he's more interested in how you're doing things. Um, so say, you know, you take a select type of vegetable and you toss it in and, and you're, you're, you're stirring it about. And finally, after, you know, a bit of silence, uh, he kind of pipes up. He's like, you know, um, not to interrupt, but some time would go really well with that, with what you got going on there. Okay, thanks. Let's say thanks for the the offer. What uh, do you have any time? Yeah, well, I got plenty of it. I'm just sitting around here for a while. Uh, and he kind of like does that, you know, that sly uh, smirk at you. <laughs> uh, the, the name's McKinnis. How are you? I'm good. Sam Al. Sam nice Al. to meet you. It's, it's not often you see many tieflings coming through here, so forgive you know, forgive anybody if they're you know a little bit uppity. It's okay, I'm used to the curiosity you and kinda, the reactions. You kind of look like you know your way around here. It's not often that people, uh, you know, so willingly come back in this part of the kitchen. Well, food's pretty important. Yeah, you're telling me he pats his belly real quick. <laughs> I had to feed a family of five, so, you know, to get this kind of weight to you, you gotta do your way around. <laughs> Did the rest of them get to eat? <laughs> He looks at you and he kind of wags his finger with the smile on his face. Ah, you gotta, you gotta wit to you. It's mm. very, very, very good in this in these times. But uh, I'll, uh, I'll leave you be. I'll, uh, if you need any help or if you need to know where anything is, just let me know. I'm gonna go uh, start cleaning up for the rest of the villagers when they get off their night shift. They just come in and trash the place. What villagers? There's none left, are there? Oh, from the village of from the village of Kyle, no. Um, the Lord General shipped in a, a lot of extra help from around the area. Uh, okay. Um, pretty much everybody that you see out here are volunteers. So okay. I figured I'd give a spot in my bar and in for you know being one of the few that survived. At the very least, I could do is you know help clean up my city. Very kind of you. So he uh, promptly kind of nods and he's a bit more solemn than he was when he came in but he turns around and walks out and starts kind of mopping the bar down and cleaning the tables okay I'll um, just keep cooking okay you manage to actually find um, through your efforts a little slab of bacon Ooh. Mm -hmm. so you got a little a little bit with which to cook up You're probably enough to feed all four five of you if you're cooking for McGinnis yeah, sure. I guess we'll share. <laughs> okay. Um, so, Aaron, Dina, uh, you guys are you know doing your thing up in your rooms, and you smell the absolutely heavenly waft of bacon start floating up through the rooms. Oh, I already, I already came downstairs. Oh, did you? I thought you said you were stretching. I'm sorry. Yeah, downstairs I'm stretching. I grabbed my stuff. <laughs> So, uh, so, so you're stretching downstairs. Okay. Well, you again, you kind of smell it. You can't exactly see Sam Al, um, but you do kind of. You get a very, very big nose full of what he's he's whipping up, and it smells amazing. Um, it's not frequently that fresh meat is available, um, especially in a place like this after a disaster like this. But whatever he found, it smells really good. Okay, I'm I'm going to get food. I'm starving. <laughs> Uh, Aaron? Uh, so once I've disarmed all my traps <laughs> and, um, you know, recollected my supplies and such, um, get ready, you know, tuck the hair into the black handkerchief and, and all that other stuff, pull my hood up and everything, and, um, 
I get a brief moment when I when I smell the aroma, it for a brief moment reminds me of home. Mm-hmm. And I kind of feel a little homesick, but then I kind of just shake it off and and remind myself why I I left in the first place. And uh I head downstairs quietly because, you know, stealth. <laughs> Would you like to roll a stealth check? Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> so, Dina, while she's doing that, Dina, are you just going to walk in oh, and start talking to Samuel? Oh, come on. <laughs> I rolled a two. Oh, wow. That's depressing. Creaky stairs. Yeah, creaky yeah. stairs. It's, it's I'm not, sorry, it's, sorry. Yeah, it's okay. Um, I didn't hear you. At, least, at uh, least my two was on something that wasn't important. <laughs> <laughs> um... So, Dina, are you just going to go right in and start talking to Sam L? Yeah. And what's the other guy, the attendant's name? McKinnis. I mean, I'm sorry, McKinnis? McKinnis, yep. M-C-K-I-N-N-E-S, McKinnis. Okay. But I I don't know that, so I'm just curious, you know. (laughs) <laughs> no, he's uh, um, he kind of gives you a nod as you you walk by. Again, he's he's tending his bar, making sure that he's got enough you know beer and ale to to kind of stock. Because again, I mean in medieval times, uh, ale was more used because it was a form of distilled water. Yeah. Um, you knew that it was good as opposed to maybe the local watering hole. So a lot of people drink ale as like a staple. They don't get blitzed off of it, but it's something that's safe. You know is good. It had to be brewed. It had to be purified in order to to, to get to its state. So you know it's safe to drink. I'm going to gesture to him and be like, yo. Well, I don't say yo, but gesturing. I need <laughs> he a mug. <laughs> he gives, oh, you need a mug? He's like, all right. So he whips around. Hits the, the, the barrel behind him and pours a little out and passes it over to you. Enjoy, lady. Cheers. He gives you and then nod. I'm going to wander over to the uh, big tea flame cooking. Okay. I'll, uh, when I see her coming, I'll dish up a plate and then I'll hand it to her. Is, is there bacon on this plate? There is bacon on this plate. Just is a little a lo- bit. Is there a lot of bacon on this plate? <laughs> no. Can I pursue... I would like to persuade to have more bacon on my plate. I'm going to say no, because we have to share with everyone. But I'm going to persuade you and say, look at my uh. skin and bones. I'm, I'm, I'm really thin. I need more meat. This is the first time I've had meat in ages. She's, and give you like a sob story. She says would that be performance or be persuasion? Uh, that would be persuasion, persuasion, I would think. Yep. Yeah. Uh. yeah. What would, what would my role be? Uh, your role would be, I believe, a um, insight, like a probably. Insight. Yep, just... it would be insight, insight against persuasion. Yeah. Okay, hold on. I need to pop out my character sheet. Okay, let's do this. Persuasion. Oh Jesus! Well, you're gonna get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! Totally I mean, unless she gets in that one. <laughs> I think. Well, maybe even if she gets in that one. No, I got it. I got an eighteen. <laughs> oh yeah. So you uh so Samo, how would you how would you react to said stop story? I'm like, well, okay, I guess you can have some of my bacon. So I give her a little extra bacon. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Dina, take what? take three points of guilt. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that guilt tastes delicious, mm, like nom, bacon. Nom, nom. <laughs> <laughs> bacon flavored guilt makes everything better. Oh. Yes. <laughs> so I am going to be very full and very happy. Okay, are you going to start eating eating without everybody, or are you just gonna are you gonna wait? I'm going to eat my my extra bacon before other people come. <laughs> Probably <laughs> just, classy just, idea. Just put that in my mouth, so you know. So you manage you manage to eat like two extra strips that you get right before uh, um, Sparrow walks in. Uh, who... So I'll uh, I'll walk in and I kind of just look at the two of you for a moment. And then I just sit down. <laughs> Do you want anything to eat, Sparrow? I ask. Yeah, what you got? Uh, eggs and bacon. Take the eggs. Okay, so I make up a portion of eggs for a servant. And I smile because that bacon's going to me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, Malcolm, are you gonna you gonna make your way back in now that yeah. your preliminary checks are completed? Yes, um, that is exactly what I'm gonna do. As I come in, I'm gonna say, uh, 
Is there smells good? Is there any food left? I say yep, and I serve a portion to him some bacon, some eggs. And this is this is an omelet, right? Yeah, yeah. Your <laughs> Malcolm is going to take the plate and he's going to set it in front of him. He's going to put the bacon on the omelet and fold it up and eat it like a taco. And with his mouth full, as he starts walking out the door, hurry up now! We don't have too much time left. Need to get running out of daylight, kids. So does that come out like? <laughs> yes. <laughs> 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 Oh, man. Uh, w- I'm gonna Sam make a L. side comment and be like, I don't think that's very noble to eat like that. <laughs> <laughs> and here and I with like the nice fork and spoon and like doing relatively the, good manner. The pinkies yeah. up. <laughs> do you do you say it? Do you say it like loud enough for him to? Uh, I say it kind of like internally with the group, but if you want to hear it, you might. I, oh, it's, I mean, it's I, up to you. Dina, he's I kind of glance over at you for something. a minute. I glance over a minute when you say it's not noble to eat like that, and I tell you that the first thing to go in old age is the manners. <laughs> Can I give you, like, a, uh, the nod of yes? <laughs> low table five? <laughs> yeah, low table five. I don't know what the medieval fantasy equivalent of that, if, like, the, you know, the eye nub wink kind of thing, I could see that. <laughs> I could see that. Uh, Sam L., are you going to dish, is there anything left for McKinnis? Uh, yeah, I put a little plate on the side for him with a little bit of bacon on it. Oh, much appreciated. I really uh, didn't know what I was going to be getting today. Well, uh, you know, it's your kitchen. You're at some. Uh, oh, before I leave, though, I want to talk to the mechanist and be like, hey, can you fill this? And then it'll be my uh, my water skin. <laughs> I want to fill it with beer. <laughs> I ale. don't think that's the wisest, but if, I, if you want to. In. Yep. Put it in. All right, so he fills it up with. Uh, generally, there is an ale skin that is oh, carried there is. with. Generally, oh. um, again, just in case. Um, sometimes it might be a bit stronger with the medical provisions uh, as a type of sterilization, but again, it totally depends on what's being carried. Um, so in this case, he'll probably fill it up for you. It's it's not the best ever. In fact, it's probably not even in the halfway best, but it's clean. <laughs> That's okay. about what you can give for it. If anything, I know I'm not going to die from dirty water. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so you guys I assume that you're going to chow down and I, head out? I'm very careful while I eat to kind of keep as much of my face covered as possible, so I'll tilt my kind of chin down so that the the hood kind of hides part of it while I eat, and I eat very quickly, kind of almost like a sparrow does. <laughs> Have you been, By slapping your face, your face been, into the plate? Uh, relatively hidden this whole entire time? Yeah. Okay, just curious. She does not. She, it's the job, and she does not trust you. Okay. Therefore, therefore, I uh, I eat pretty quickly, and then throw my dish in the sink and wander out. Well, whatever, if there's a sink or wherever he washes the dishes at, and then I wander out to look at the horses. He puts it in the dish. I water. will. I will have chosen <laughs> the second, uh, the second largest slash strongest looking horse for my own. Uh, I guess I'll choose like a nimble looking one. I'm looking for the largest horse since I'm going yeah. to be <laughs> Exactly. That was, that was my exact thought. Okay. Um, question. Has anybody donned their armor? I don't have yes. mine. Is. I, I would have, yes. Yeah. I would probably be wearing mine she for has. the ride, yeah. Okay. So you would take the time after you eat to do that, then jump on. So Yeah. Just as a organizational thing. All right. So you guys get on. Um, the, the stable boys do help you up. Um... Sam L, uh, and uh, Malcolm, actually. Actually, Malcolm, you have studded leather, so you should be all right. Yep. And then uh, Sparrow has also leather armor, if I'm correct. Yeah. Can I do, like, a fancy acrobatic way to get onto the horse to impress everybody? Oh, make a roll. Come on, make one. A roll. Come <laughs> on, one. I would like a acrobatics check, please. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I'm myself. Uh, oh, thank God. It's uh, fucking Eleven. Rain. Oh, <laughs> It's going to get so cold, and it's going to be so nice. All right, so yeah, no, you absolutely can. Um, how, what would you like to do? Nothing too extreme, because it's still an 11, but how would you how would you like to mount your horse? Well, <laughs> okay, I shouldn't just be suggestive. That's kind of awkward. Uh, I would just, <laughs> I'll just run up to the horse and then kind of do, like, a cool, like, jump and kind of, you know how, like, gymnasts use, like, the horse vault? Kind of do the... <laughs> And oh, okay. 
course. Nice. But not like cartwheels and stuff. Just like instead of everyone going into the stirrup and pulling themselves up, I'm like, ha! You quite literally just course. leap the horse, half the horse in a single bound. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and everybody else, you have your placards ready, guys? Because you are the judges for this one. Like. Yes. Okay. I'm, I'm more, more importantly, I'm trying to impress the stable boys. Interesting. Oh, God. <laughs> they're kids. Ew, gross. I'm just, you know, like, I'm trying to entertain. That's what I do. Okay, so I guess now would be a good time to check. Uh, who has animal handling? Not, yeah. well, I mean, uh, I, I don't. like, I have it in terms of the fact of that it was based off of wisdom, so I, I do have a couple of points there, but Sparrow's never ridden a horse before, and most animals just kind of are like, they sniff her and then they wander away. They just don't like her. <laughs> okay. It actually now frustrates me that I don't have animal handling. <laughs> <laughs> so every, I'm going to say that everybody generally has at least the basics of, of animal handling, though if it gets anything other than a road or a fairly fast trot, we're going to start taking checks because uh, you guys just don't know how to handle the horses from that point. That sounds a real incompetent rider. That's good. Yeah, so um, so at which point... Um, <laughs> this is going to be great. So you guys you guys head off. Uh, you give the, the quick clicks and ride off and um, your horses aren't exactly the most obedient horses, but you're also not exactly giving the best of signals. <laughs> so, we're, um, yeah. we're north of Lake Wyvern, right? Or Correct. Wyvern? Yeah, let's, okay. uh, actually, let's head on over to the world map. So the giant red indication arrow is in the indication of the arrow that you're in. Um, that was bad again, sorry. It's there. Yep. All right. You know, I can just look up ju adventuring jukebox music. Hold on, let me do that so that we're not piercing our eardrums here. I'm sorry, okay. I didn't realize my singing was that god awful. It is. It's so terrible. Oh god. I'm you all can bite me, you assholes. Um, this is me trying to give you some nice music. You try to even do if it nice, is, no even one if appreciates it is, you. Even if it is the Pokemon bike theme from the original games. Oh no, we should do the Pokemon Go music. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Gotta find it here. And then just like halfway through. Wait, 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 hold wait, on. Wait, hold there's on. a Raditz. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> Sparrow and Acela go off path to try and find the Pokemon. I know. I put my egg that I received from something into the egg incubator, and let's now start walking. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So if you guys have your your music on, you should be hearing it. I just want to know if this is a good a good level for everybody. Where's the I music? like that. How do you turn on Actually, music? It should be coming on over oh, your speaker. I actually really like it as a world theme because it kind of fits the mood of what's going on. I'd right agree now. with that. It's just like in the world. So. It's like nothing dangerous is happening right now, <laughs> which I like. Okay. Um, and then so... out of nowhere, the Final Fantasy VII boss theme starts playing. <laughs> and we're just like, what the fuck? <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Oh, God. We've got to do a Pokemon battle, guys. Also, Mark. <laughs> Mark, yes. you have a fan on this stream. I have Someone what now? Someone loves you so much. Oh yeah, you, you have, it's, you it's have a fan on the stream. Oh, is it crayon? It's crayon. Crayon on stream. I'm I'm a fan of crayon as well, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I loved all the fucked up arrows that keep showing up out of nowhere. Yeah, I know, right? All right, so you guys managed to um to 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 make some progress. Um. I'm really, it's it's a smooth ride. It's it's one of the main roads through Celestia. Um, there's as as you travel back and forth, um, you're you're passing caravans, you're passing single riders, um, you're passing troops of, of highwaymen who are guarding the, and not highwaymen in the in the regards of we're going to rob the shit out of you, but quite literally men who are guards who are meant to guard this area. Um, you pass some small militia posts. Um, 
very s small coves and single houses and things like that. Um, but nothing really out of the ordinary goes through your travels. Um, you manage to make it up to Stromness with little to no problems. Um, I mean, besides, every now and then you get a little bit of a, you know, a horse rear. But, you know, again, none of you are super into it. You're taking the pace pretty easy. I bet it's starting to hurt, though. <laughs> yeah, every, at this point, it's it's been probably the better most of the day. You took off in the morning. You're arriving at Stromness close to evening. Um, like, it's going to be bedtime very, very shortly. Um, the sun is starting to sink down below the horizon. Um, a lot oh, I'm, of, I'm feeling it in my legs then. Shit. Everybody will be feeling it. Everybody make me an endurance check, please. I believe endurance, right? I'm used to, like, eight different other fucking systems. Um, uh, no, not endurance. It's gonna be um, a constitution. Yeah, make me Just a constitution a save, please. Yeah. I was totally about to roll you a charisma check. Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, me too. I'm feeling pretty okay. Oh god. <laughs> Smash just like crying <laughs> in the saddle. Oh god, this is gonna suck. Yep. Yep. <laughs> okay, so Sam L, Estella, Malcolm, all you three you're feeling it. You're worn, you're tired. Um, riding in a saddle for close to ten hours is not a fun experience for anybody. Um, especially when you're going at a pretty comfortable trot. Um, your legs are burning. But it's it's something that you've known, just maybe not as thoroughly as you're knowing it now. Sparrow, you don't know what you did to piss this horse off, <laughs> but it seemed like every other step it was purposefully pushing up into you, uh, in order to, <laughs> to like try to buck you off. So you're like, when they when the phrase "rode hard and put away wet" comes to mind with that bow legged, um, you're you're pretty much like that. It's very tender. Um, anything relating to, I'm going to say, uh, anything relating to your moving your lower legs uh, in a very exuberant manner, you're going to be taking a disadvantage on. Noted. Um, so you guys keep, roll up to Stromus. I bite my tongue and keep my mouth shut, though, except for maybe a couple of hisses of pain here and there. Oh, yeah. I, I can definitely see it. 